the ending of the Magnus Samoa Joe match reminded me a lot of the Attitude Era, just not of the any, just not any of the good parts. What is something from that era you wished had never gone away? I'll go with um, the Attitude Era was really made by the fact that you had two competing shows going on at the same time, mm-hmm. so you effectively had four hours of wrestling. Didn't Nitro start at eight? I want to say yeah. Nitro started yeah. at eight. And then Raw started at 9, so you always got one hour on each side of just that that program. And then, so you either got like, the first hour of Nitro and the last hour of Raw. And eventually Nitro went three hours. Yes. So Nitro so did go three hours at one point. Went away was um, WCW. Wait, what's that? That was a poor move. What's that, LB? So the thing that you wish had never gone away was WCW. Yeah, I wish that WCW had never gone away. Oh, by the way, the first thing I watched, I finally watched something on the WWE Network that wasn't like the pre or post show. Uh, it was a Dean Malenko and Rey Mysterio in a match at Halloween Havoc 96. And it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. And I enjoyed a Rey Mysterio match for the first time in 15 years. Mm-hmm. Felt mm-hmm. great. Uh, Chachi actually, first time in 15 years, and it was in 1996. Ch- Chachi was asking me what, yeah. what pay-per-view he should watch. And I was like, how about WCW Hogwild? Um, because oh, that is always no. one of my favorites, and I knew, I knew right off the bat, I was like, "There is a really good Rey Mysterio match. All the Cruiser really, uh, matches on that is going to be interesting." And and he said, "Yes, Rey Mysterio Ultimate Ultimate Dragon was uh, a pretty good flippy match." Um, and I think he enjoyed some of the other stuff, like the bikers scaring uh, Harlem Heat with their bikes, <laughs> right, revving them during the match against yeah. the Steiners or something. I, I... Uh, th- yeah, I, I just the fact that there was actual competition. Yeah, yeah, which means that both of them had to step it up and do. I don't want to say that they had to like make things crazier and crazier, but they had to because the the wrestling during yeah. the attitude era wasn't great compared to what it is now. Mm-hmm. But and it, the of- fact that this. That they had to continually one up each other, which was exactly really awesome. Um, and, That's what it was. And uh, Eamon brings up in the chat room uh, risk taking as far as talent goes. But I also want to point out here. I, I think he's the, only, the same one who who pointed out the um, original Bad News Barrett was this guy that lowered from this platform uh, from the top, uh, like on Raw uh, that I've never seen before. I've absolutely <coughs> never seen this clip what before. Is, what? They, what? Go, you'll yeah, have to look at the Facebook really group fast. for that. He, did he? I I didn't remember him being there. It must have been when I was in my blackout for WWF. Um, I can have all but, kinds of problems. But I think that yeah, they took a lot of risks. But I think there are a lot of misses, like more misses than we see even today in NXT uh, when it comes oh, yeah. to something like that. Because they were, Ooh. it did feel like attitude. They were trying everything. Mm-hmm. At the time, remember we did get a yo. Know, I was reminded of this because I watched a a uh, interview of Goldust uh, between the stuff on WWE Network and like the period when he was like the mentally uh, had a problem and had was into the bondage with Luna Vachon kind of thing. Like they were the throwing every unit. As Goldust. Yeah, exactly. Um, there was a lot of misses. As far as what I miss, I think the part of it that I miss is the rabid rabid fans which i think we're really getting yeah. back with the daniel bryan situations lately yeah that like if you go back and watch old attitude era stuff mm-hmm. these people are ready to rip seats out of the arena yeah the and crowd, throw them the crowd is ready nuts to, they're ready to riot at any moment the amount of signs that are out there and and people just you know expect Exploding when you hear the glass break when something happens. I mean, it is just a whole different show. It feels like it feels like the metal concert versus a a uh, a, uh, a country like sit a down concert, concert. You know, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it like, feels like it almost feels like this is this concert you're afraid to go to because there might be a mosh pit. Yep. To me, so they, like if you, yeah, you're right. The glass break, the mm-hmm. Austin glass break. <laughs> like where did all that noise come from <laughs> yeah exactly so um more uh anybody else need to answer there uh yeah yeah we do we have uh we have other things to answer here hold on allow me to no no I, 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 I did everybody get a turn at that question 